Welcome to a lesson on the triangle proportionality theorem. The goal of this video is to state and prove this theorem. The triangle proportionality theorem states that if a line parallel to one side of the triangle, this line here, intersects the other two sides of the triangle, then it divides those sides proportionally. So this highlighted line divides these two sides of the triangle proportionally so that the length of AM to the length of MB would be equal to the length of AN to the length of NC. Now we want to prove this theorem. But before we do that, let's go ahead and talk strategy. So here's our diagram. And because these two lines are parallel, we know that angle one is congruent to angle two because they're corresponding angles. And the same thing for angle three and angle four. So by angle-angle similarity, this small triangle and this large triangle are similar. And therefore we know the corresponding sides are proportional. So the length of BA to the length of MA would be equal to the length of CA to the length of NA. And then in order to get the ratio to contain BM and MA, what we'll do is use the segment addition postulate and then perform substitution. So let's go ahead and write this up. So we're given triangle ABC with segment MN parallel to segment BC. We want to prove that the length of BM to the length of MA is equal to the length of CN to the length of NA. Let's go ahead and state the given. Next, we know that angle one is congruent to angle two, and angle three is congruent to angle four, and that's by the corresponding angles postulate. So by angle-angle similarity, we know that the large triangle, triangle ABC, is similar to triangle AMN. And therefore the corresponding sides are proportional. So the length of BA to the length of MA would be equal to the length of CA to the length of NA. And again, the corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional. Now for step five, we're going to go ahead and use the segment addition postulate. And we'll say that the length of BA is equal to the length of BM plus the length of MA and the length of CA is equal to the length of CN plus the length of NA. And again, this is by the segment addition postulate. So for step six, we're going to go ahead and combine step four and five by performing substitution. We're going to replace BA with BM plus MA and we'll replace CA with CN plus NA. So the length of BM plus the length of MA to MA is equal to the length of CN plus the length of NA to the length of NA. And the reason here is by the substitution property. And now you can probably see what's developing. We're going to break this up into two fractions. And one of the fractions will be MA over MA. And over here we'll have a fraction that's NA over NA, which is equal to one. And then we can subtract out the one. So we'll have BM over MA plus MA over MA equals CN over NA plus NA over NA. And we'll go ahead and state the reason as the separation of fractions.
well, this is equal to one, and this is equal to one. So if we subtract one from both sides of this equation, we'll have what we're trying to prove. So step eight, we have our proof. The length of BM divided by MA is equal to the length of CN divided by the length of NA. And again, what we did here is we just subtracted one on both sides of the equation. So this is by the subtraction property of equality. And there it is. There's one more thing I want to mention about the triangle proportionality theorem. There are actually six resulting proportions from this theorem. So you may want to pause the video and take a look at all of these. It doesn't just have to involve the two shorter segments that are divided by this parallel line. We can also tie in the lengths of the sides labeled J and K from the largest triangle. So I would encourage you to pause the video and take a look at all of these. I hope you found this helpful.